Welcome back to another episode of Marvel's Contest of Champions! And it's time! Hit it! Welcome back to another episode of Marvel's Contest of Champions. And today, we are going to go over, you know, an overview of the Dave Bautista's um, Cosmic Challenge. We're also going to go over some strategies for it, team building, and kind of general tips that might help you guys out. Um, today, I'm joined by Elena, as we can see. We're home from school today. Ah, Say hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. I'm the girl we hold. This is my girl, Sawyer. Exactly what she said. Ah, yes. So... Um, you guys didn't catch my live stream last night. Uh, uh, I went through this 100%. And the team I personally used was this right here. Now, the reason for this team was because of Magic. Magic with that L2, that power lock and power drain, was money. Um, Yes. I was watching some other people yesterday and what really turned me on to her other than when this thing dropped first thing popped in my mind Magic but also I watched uh, LG which I'll link down in the description uh, his live stream and he used his rank 4 5 star Magic and he just wrecked this thing in like an hour 20 it was great so I knew I was going to have to do it. So I took her from 3.30 up to 5.50 yesterday. Thank goodness for a level up event. Um, to go ahead and use her. I've already ranked her back down to 3.30. Don't really want her to use her. So, you know, it is whatever. And then, so I went through it with this. And the reason for this team, as many people already know, is because of... Right here, the romance, the power game. This is a power game team. This is a 20% power game team. And I just want as much power as possible so I can get Magic to her second special. Be able to use that and power lock them and power drain them. Uh, and then I control the rest of the fight. I want to be able to control it. I don't want to have any unnecessary aspects pop up like the power flood from Spike. So she was key for Good that. And she keeps running in and out, so that's going to happen all the video. Anyways, also I have my boy there, Hawkeye. He's my backup just in case. And I did use him quite a bit. Um, not like a ton, but he got into the good 8 10 fights probably. So, you know, he just he's good with the uh, get that hemorrhage going plus the bleed, power drain him. And it's going to go off quickly. So, went through it uh, in two hours, one minute, and 19 seconds is what I saw on my clock when I did it. So, give or take a little bit, but, you know, two hours flat for the most part to get this done. The first three chapters here, let's go back. The first three chapters are simple. The first two are a waste of time. You're going to walk through it. You're not going to have any issues at all. When you get to chapter three, the last half of it, you start seeing the ramp up in difficulty. Uh, you'll start taking a little bit of damage here and there when you're blocking and stuff like that. It's not hard at all, for me at least. Um, also, I'm using a rank 5. And so I was able to, you know, get through it no problem. I did start using Hawkeye at the end because my Jeep was starting to get a little low on life. And I really didn't want to heal yet. So I just threw uh, Hawkeye in there and finish it off. Uh, with a lot of them and my Jeep back in for all the Cosmics. Because you do fight quite a few Cosmics. Uh, and then in chapter 4, the first section, I didn't use anything. The second section, I started boosting up. And the boost that I used was... Let me see if I still have another one in here. Yes, sweetie. Okay, good. Right here. The, I used one of these. So when you use your second or third special, you get... Up to 150% life back. I used one of those and um, I did 200% one, so I used one of those. So I used those two. Plus, I used two of the, these ones, the 20% attack and health. Uh, I used those just to hit a little harder and get a little bit of extra life to try to run through it real quick. 
Uh, I think it cost me three total energy refills, and the third one actually, I only used not even half of it. So, that's not a big deal there. So, those were the boosts that I used for this. Uh, I didn't really need anything else. I thought maybe doing one of these, but I, didn't, I don't think I ever took a third special. Um, I don't think I did one. I might have took one. I don't think I took any. It's just because Magic controlled the whole fight. My mastery setup here is as follows. Because a lot of people there in the stream and a lot of people that are about to start it and other friends and chat rooms and stuff that asked me what it was. So let me just go ahead and show you that. I got the basic offense mastery setup. I have deep wounds a little higher and I have assassin uh, at rank For events like this, that's awesome. I also am a boss killer so I like to have assassin. Uh, I might go a couple extra points into that later. And my defense here, I have just the basic one to get to willpower. And I have the one in the willpower. And then my utility here. Okay, and my utility here is set up like this. I didn't change anything. I didn't have to turn off dexterity. Uh, the evade was never an issue. The AI is very aggressive. They will use their specials pretty regularly. So you don't have to really worry about that. Again, with Majit power locking them, it's a wrap like that. So that really helped out. As you can see, the rest of it. I do have a couple in the scouts just because I, for a line's worth, didn't want to change anything, didn't need to spend the units, so did it. Yes, we. Okay, so a couple other champs you could think about you know, changing stuff out with is, let's go to three stars because of course I have more of those than other things. As you go through, power gain is really helpful when you're using the power lock, power drain people. If you don't have that or you're using something else, you can easily you know go a little different route. But the big thing you want to think about is people who don't get buffs. So, for example, Magneto, he doesn't gain buffs. Old Man Logan always has a regen going, so that's going to constantly feed the power flood. I don't know if Falcon can bypass it with this Red Wing attack. I would assume he could, but maybe not. Uh, the Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, they're going to gain fury occasionally, so you have to look at that. Ultron. If you don't get hit, you can still work. I've done it before uh, with the Ming Na challenge, I believe. So, and act, um, and Rose Black in the last chapter, I, I used them uh, so he's doable, but you still will get that power flood going. Black Widow, if you don't do your specials, you don't worry about it. Uh, stuff like that. Again, Majit, she, Limbo doesn't trigger the power flood, so you're good there. I heard, I've been told by a couple people, Loki. He can actually steal the power of buff. So you can actually use that to your advantage if you're very well with Loki, which keeps spamming that L1. Moro is going to constantly feed it. Um, Nightcrawler will feed it. So, you, know, you want to look out for stuff like that. Let's see who else here. You want people that power lock or power burn, so Please. your visions, your, if you have OG vision, perfect. If you don't, regular vision will work because you can power burn. Um, Black Panther, or regular, OG Black Panther, that. Yeah. Hold on, let's sort by real hero rating. Okay, so your OG Black Panther here with teamed up with Black Panther Civil War, he's going to do extra bleed damage along with and or Hawkeye, you'll do extra bleed damage. So if you don't really have a magic that you can use using a Hawkeye and a Black Panther with Black Panther Civil War will let you do a lot more bleed damage. So that would help out. And they don't gain buffs. So and of course, that's kind of what you want. Black Panther Civil War, War does when you're getting hit. So again, if you don't get hit, you won't have an issue. But if you do, you can start running into issue. Um, another one I don't have this person is Gwynpool. Gwynpool's L2 power locks. So 
theoretically you can power lock them. And if you can be aggressive enough and get your power back, you can go ahead and keep on going. Uh, also those boots that I showed you before, if you have the skill one and you keep using that with her, you can do some serious bleed damage and some serious power locking. You can end fights pretty quickly. I know that Voodoo can. I saw somebody else using uh, another YouTuber, Cena actually. Uh, I can link that down in the description also. I saw Cena going through it with Dr. Voodoo. He started running some issues in yeah, Chapter 4 going through it because he's constantly regening at the beginning of the fight. And, oh, thank you for the hug. And as he's constantly regenerating through the fight, at the beginning of the fight, he's going to constantly power flight. If you get your L2, and start draining the power and everything else, you're going to be okay. Winter Soldier is a low key option. Uh, you may, may not be able to efficiently use his power drain. So, I mean, if you can, it's awesome. If not, you know, he could be a little bit of liability because he does gain theory. So, you do have to look out for that. Try to see who else. Again, I don't have all the heroes here. So I'm just trying to see if anyone jumps out at me. Hey, so cable? Look, it's Let me see here. Sorry, guys. I, I don't. I haven't read up a lot on cable. I don't think this cable power lock. Okay, no, 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 poisons. Yes. Poison duration. <laughs> DJ. Unblockable. Refresh. Okay, so he's not a good option because he does get a lot of stuff, so he won't be a good option there. That little crystal bubble they showed you, those are your three primaries, Vision, Magic, and Voodoo. Again, Voodoo is probably the lesser option that you don't really want to use. Uh, you can use Hawkeye, he's a really good option to get. So, if you're skilled enough, you really don't have to worry about that. You can probably bring anyone you want. But... If you're not really highly skilled and you're trying to mitigate the fight, and you, it a little easier, you can do that. A Civil War Warrior, a Civil War Civil Warrior with his L2 power burn, so he can be low key, but he does gain armor. So if he, especially if he's duped, he's going to start with armor, so he's going to constantly power flood him. If he's not duped, he'll actually be better for this. So you can do power draining on them. So Dormammu will be another one. That can constantly power lock them. Uh, so he would be a really good option too. He will start feeding power flood, but as long as you're doing it right, it should be okay. But it would still be difficult. Of course, I did forget one person. The OG version, and just use Scarlet Witch for the whole thing. Uh, with the debuff with her nerf. She doesn't power lock as long. I have had a few friends go through it and get through most of it with her. Um, at the end, it starts getting more difficult, they said. And especially against Rocket. Rocket is your hardest fight in this whole thing. Rocket has a power gain. Plus, he'll start getting his power flood, so you're he's doing devil damage. Uh, with my 5-star Magic, I just killed up a lot. And I hit him a few times, try to get him to use a special one. And just let him beat on me a little bit while I'm blocking. Yeah, get close to that second special. And then attack him. Get that second special. Power lock. And then fight's pretty much over because he has low base health. And we're playing with Smurfs too. But as long as you're doing that, you're controlling the fight for the most part. Uh, then you're good to go. Again, the biggest thing is take the unexpected out of the fight. Use power blocking, power draining. You're going to do that. It's going to make your life much easier on this. And other than that, it's really, really, really not that hard. Again, your hardest fight in this is going to be Rocket with that power. Groot can be a little bit of a pain. Star Lord is a little bit of a pain because of the armor up note he has. He has a constant armor note, so. It makes it harder just to beat on him. It takes the fight a little longer. But again, if he's constantly making him use L1, easy power lock, power drain, boom, fight's over. I hope this 
I hope this helped you out. And we're doing two fingers because we're awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave Daddy! a comment if you finished it, if you, what team you've used, if you have it, um, and you're having issues with your teams, please let me know. I can try to help you out the best I can. Other than that, you guys take care, and we will see you next time. Say bye-bye. Say bye. No. No? Okay, I guess no bye. Bye, guys.